Hi students, uh, we will continue with uh, another problem set uh, uh, regarding photodiode. Uh, I will share a slide. Yeah, it is here. So the question is, uh, photodiode has contra-efficiency of... Um, yeah, one minute. Uh, a photodiode has a contra-efficiency of uh, 65 percentage. When photons of energy... Uh, this much uh, watt is incident on it. At what wavelength the photodiode is operating? Calculate the incident optical power required to obtain a photocurrent of 2.5 microampere. So as I said before, you must uh, understand the question properly. Uh, so what are the given parameter? Eta is given, contra-efficiency is given 0 0.65, uh, 65 percentage. And uh, P is given, capital P is given, that is 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 19 watt is given. So what is the question? These uh, things are you have to write down in the answer sheet first. So things to find is what is the wavelength this photodiode is operating. So at what wavelength the, uh, so we have to write lambda is a question mark, okay? So that you did the uh, first part. So A part is that one. So what is E is equal to HC by lambda? So it's a general equation you studied from the plus two uh, class itself. So see, uh, what is lambda is given? Uh, that is um, uh, the H is a constant, C is a constant. E is given, that is uh, 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 19 watt. Then you can find what is lambda itself. So based on the H is a constant, Applying constant, C is the velocity of light, and E is given. Three parameters given, only one unknown. Then you can find lambda is equal to 1.32 micrometer. That is 1,320 nanometer, okay? So next question, calculate the incident optical power required to obtain a photocurrent of 2.5 microampere. And, uh, U is uh, stand for microampere. Some question paper contain micro sign, or sometimes it is U sign. You should uh, understand it is micro, uh, that is 10 raised to minus 6. Uh, here, uh, in order to find uh, uh, the photocurrent, we should calculate uh, the responsivity. Okay? Uh, so, photocurrent and uh, the inc incident power is related by the responsivity, right? So, we have to find the responsivity. So, R is equal to efficiency into uh, uh, number and uh, electron charge. Uh, divided by the photon energy, okay? So efficiency is uh, given, 65 percentage is given, and uh, charge of uh, electron, we know that uh, 1.6 into 10 is minus 19 Coulomb. H is a Planck constant, and mu, mu is equal to C by lambda. Uh, lambda we find out already. Then we have substitute these values, you will get 0.694 ampere per watt is the value of uh, responsivity. You must always write the unit as well, so lambda is, uh, suppose you are writing uh, either in micrometer or in nanometer, okay? I put both here, uh, you micrometer as well as nanometer. Uh, and similarly, uh, when you write responsivity, always write uh, ampere per watt, okay? So uh, based on this, calculate the incident optical power required to obtain a photocurrent of 2.5 microampere. So we have R and we have uh, this IP is also given. Then you can find, easily find, R is equal to IP by R, uh, IP by P. Uh, IP is the photocurrent, P is the incident power. Incident power is given. You know the what is the value of R. Then you can, R is constant throughout. For a photodiode, uh, responsivity is always constant, okay? Then you can find for the for this uh, particular current, photocurrent, you can find the incident optical power so you can find it out i given the answer is 3.6 micro watt okay here is again again i use the word u or, or micro yeah 10 raised to minus 6 watt so similar question also i am giving calculate the responsivity of photo material with the quantum efficiency of one percentage at 500 nanometer okay so uh find responsivity you have to find so what are the given parameter quantum efficiency is only one percentage that means when 1,000 photons are uh, incident on this depletion region, only 10 photons are, uh, 10 electrons are generated. That much uh, very less respond uh, point of efficiency here. And uh, this is in visible wavelength, that is 500 nanometer. So you can use the direct equation, R is equal to eta into E by H nu. 
so new is given that is c by lambda uh, it is given uh, that is uh, 500 nanometer i mean lambda is given uh, 500 nanometer uh, replace new by c by lambda c is the velocity of light h is applying constant e is a constant then uh, eta is 1 0.01 you might write it here it is 0.01 and then you will find r, r is equal to uh, 4 milliampere per watt okay uh, always the unit is ampere per watt uh, here it is 4 milliampere per watt so try it out if you are coming across any doubt you please contact me so band gap and font detection this is uh, um, uh, i haven't seen any previous question paper this type of questions suppose it is uh, asking in your university question you must write this one determine the maximum value of energy gap in which energy gap means the separation between conduction energy band and the balance energy band right with the semiconductor we use as a photoconductor can have if it is sensitive to yellow light so 600 nanometer Similarly, a photo detector whose area is uh, this much and yellow light is same, yellow light is used here. Intensity of yellow light is given. Assume each photon generates electron hole pair. Calculate the number of pairs generated in this uh, second. So uh, let's go to the problem uh, section A. Uh, energy back. So what are the uh, given parameters? Only 600 nanometer is given. So given that lambda is equal to 600 na nanometer, we need a uh, E photon is equal to H nu. So EG, we have to find EG energy gap, right? So EG is equal to HC by lambda. Uh, that is uh, already we discussed. So H is a Planck constant is given. C is the velocity of light. And uh, this lambda is given. So 2.76 energy gap. That is energy gap requirement for uh, generating photons. So here next question, area is given. So area is given and uh, the light whose intensity is given so what is the uh, received power received power is this is a catch of this question area and the power is equal to area into i light so area is given multiplied by uh, intensity you will get the total power then uh, as usual number of photons arrive per second is get a p by eph okay total power by energy of one photon so what is the total power arrived this one so EPH is equal to this we find. So uh, this is uh, HC by lambda, uh, sorry, H nu, uh, uh, nu uh, this lambda is given. Then you will find, so this much photons per second, uh, because uh, here the question is each photon generate one electron hole pair. That is the efficiency is under percentage. So this much photon means that much electrons as well, okay? We will continue next session for more problems. Thank you.